So guys, welcome to another video. In today's video I'll be doing a little test that I have had, haven't seen too many of on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to show you the memory performance or Windows startup performance in different sizes of memory and of course different channels of memory. So I have a system that uh, can take uh, one single, dual and triple channel memory. Uh, so what I'm going to be starting with now is to boot up the system with 6 gigs of RAM and we're going to take the time since I pressed uh, from the, I pressed the enter button to select the operating system for my uh, startup menu and check how long time it takes before it logs on to my uh, user account and opens, opens up hard disk sentinel which is my main program because that's, uh, that's the most heavy program that I have to start up uh, Windows so uh, let me just f try here to get past here and press the power button on my computer system. and all lights in my house are flashing due to the power consumption and I'm gonna go around here and turn off my oven so that it doesn't turn on so you can see my timer on my phone there as fast the display gets a little brighter you can see it a little better Let's make sure that it doesn't go into sleep mode. Okay, I said I know it takes a long time in my bias. So this is my operating system boot up menu. So let us test how long time it takes. Remember until hard disk sentinel is done booting up. Not yet. There we go. Approximately 29 seconds it took with 6 gigs of RAM to boot up my operating system. So what I'm going to do now is shut the system down and I'm going to take out uh, two of the sticks in my system so it only remains with 2 gigs of RAM. That will be interesting to see how fast it boots with only 2 gigs of RAM because you know 2 gigs of RAM that was high end like 6 to 7 years ago even more than that 2 gigs of RAM that was a long time ago so what I'm gonna do now is just replace my camera in one place uh, so you can see me doing all the action inside my computer system so this is inside my computer system now uh, what I have, what's very important now that I do before I do anything else is to turn off the main power there we go and went, went uh, wait to the main board has empty for power you can see here it's still lighted up so you can see when that shuts off, it's completely empty for power, so it don't damage anything. Oh, that took a, quite a long time there. There we go. Now it's completely empty for power. The only power which is in there now is uh, the BIOS battery, but that doesn't damage anything when you're doing a RAM, uh, RAM installation. It's very important now what I'm doing now because I'm sitting on a carpet that, it, that I ground myself. Well, I have already done it. I touched okay that's a that's not the rule the rule is to touch a unpainted part of the case the problem with my case is that it is painted all over it so I want to find a screw that I can uh, ground me to or actually I can ground me just to touch this this air there we go I don't ground it because I'm touching the the uh, back plate there well by just touching the back plate which is then connected to the motherboard which is then connected to the case then you ground yourself uh, it's not the most, uh, that's not the best way to do it, but uh, that's how I have to do it since my case is all black inside. So, as I said, I'm gonna take out two sticks of RAM. I just saw the lights flashing again. Interesting. There is one RAM, that's uh, 1600 megahertz RAM. Actually, 1333, but is uh, uh, what the hell is that mode called? Let's see here, it's called XMP. When it's running at XMP, it uh, has uh, 1600 megahertz at 1.65 volts. So, 
I'm gonna get the camera back to the monitor position and uh, try again and see how long time it is to start up. So we are now up back at my de desktop here and the camera is set up and now I'm gonna press the power button whoops remembering turning on the uh, power switch back on the power supply see if I can get past the tripod here and get try do it here we go oh that's a lot of power you just heard that big spark in there whoops has so much mess on that table so now I can press the power button So we have only detected uh, 2 gigs of RAM there. Still running at 1600 megahertz though. But only single channel mode now because it's only one stick. And alright, so let's reset this. Remember 29 seconds on 6 gigs. I'm gonna test 2 gigs. Windows 7 startup with an i7 930 and a SSD on 64 gigs. Okay, wait for hard Sentinel. Rockstar Games, there you go. Okay, so Hard Disk Sentinel came just a second after, but with 2 gigs of RAM. So, 2 gigs of RAM, and it's almost used all of it. Because my system uses quite a lot of RAM. So, I'm going to now check how the score is in Windows with only 2 gigs of RAM. Now, we'll only run a memory test there, so that'll go pretty fast. There you go, 5.5 on the memory there. So the memory performance has <laughs> gone down quite a lot because the last time it was in 7.9. So what I'm gonna do now is to yeah shut down and put back in all the six gigs. So there you go, guys. That doesn't impact too much. But what I did see that it didn't even show the Windows logo, you know, Windows 7 Home Premium and stuff like that thingy. It didn't show the log on screen. It just went straight to the desktop. So there was a little difference there, but still there was one second delay with Hardest Sentinel. But that is one second that is nothing to compare to how much RAM you're going down from. So yeah, I'm gonna now go back uh, back into my system of course, shutting it down first and install back all my six gigs of RAM. So I probably can run games on it because 2 gigs of RAM is not enough for games. Well, even though I have an SSD, it won't be enough. There we go. So, yeah, install back my RAM and uh, yeah, that's it guys. So there we go. There was not a very big difference there. I guess if you run your operating system from a hard drive, it will take a longer time because it will need to get and use the hard drive as RAM when you use up all the RAM, but I don't think you use up, you won't use up the RAM during a Windows startup time. So, as you saw, the memory performance wise didn't impact Windows startup time, but it did impact the uh, the memory performance score in Windows. So, there is a little small difference there, or quite a big difference actually. But uh, even though it was a very good, uh, that's actually very, uh, very impressive actually. That is actually no startup, there was no difference at the startup time. So, as long you use, have enough RAM, I'll recommend a minimum of 3 gigs of RAM, even though it's only an internet computer, because you will install more apps on it, I promise you, email programs, toolbars, whatever. You will need more than 2 gigs of RAM, because uh, my laptop 
my school computer has two gigs of RAM, and that's a that's a school computer, and that's too 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 little. It actually uh, it's it struggles keeping Word up and going. So that's uh, how much it struggles with only two gigs of RAM. So I will really recommend getting a, yourself at least three gigs of RAM or more. At uh, if you're a crazy guy, you can probably uh, hit 12 gigs and even more of that, or 32 gigs or 64 gigs on the new X79 chipset. But even though I would recommend minimum three gigs for Windows 7, and uh, as you saw there, the startup time was no difference at all. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I hope this helped you showing. I hope I helped showing you that the memory doesn't impact the startup time of Windows 7. What I will do in the future is test different speeds of memory because I'm getting a new i7 system uh, for free uh, for my uncle. He has a uh, i7 system which has a 6 gigs of RAM and a 300 gig Velociraptor drive. Uh, so I'll, I'm getting that for free. The only problem with it is the broken motherboard. What, what I will do is take out the RAM from that because of cheap RAM, I guess it is in there. You know, the without RAM sync and stuff. And take out those and put it in my system and check if that impacts the start performance. If that doesn't impact the start performance, memory speeds above 1333 will not impact performance when it starts up Windows. So there we go, guys. That is, uh, that was the start performance of yeah between uh, that's 6 gig versus 2 gigs Windows 7 startup performance so thank you so much for watching guys and stay subscribed for more technology videos about computers and stuff